Some bikes just get no respect. A lot of riders out there call some of the slower bikes pansy bikes or even the, Har the new Harley Davidson Sportster S. Some of you guys are like Cycle Cruiser. That's a chick's bike. You know, only pansy dudes ride those. That's for, that's for chicks, dude. I'm like, what? <laughs> but you know, guys, I want to talk about all the pansy bikes and, and, and tell you the real deal about these pansy bikes out there. Let's go for a ride. Today. You know, although I've gotten a little bit of hate riding this uh, 2019 YZ450 FX Custom Street Legal Supermoto, uh, is where people say I need to grow up and get a Harley Davidson, but I don't think I, nobody's really said that I was a pansy for riding this. But I tell you, I've, a lot of the bikes I've had in the past, people call me pansies with, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to show love to the pansy bikes <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna tell you it don't matter what you ride make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe and i got some awesome gear this is my favorite helmet super lightweight helmet comes with an automatic tent shield my motor vlog camera awesome shorty gloves airbag vest to help keep you safe i have links in the description and comment section of this video i'm gonna keep it real with you oh this bike is awesome well i'm gonna tell you this guys you guys are gonna be really shocked because this is probably considered one of the most pansy bikes out there is my folding fat tire e-bike made by Hay Bike, which I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video if you want to get one delivered to your door. Honestly, I ride that bike more than I do my $4,400 uh, Surrod X. I tell you that, man. Uh, why? Because I don't know, I absolutely love pedaling, doing the pedal and the motor, the pedal assist and the motor kicks on and it rides, it's quick and it's just fun riding that bike out here on the street. I can't tell you exactly why it's so awesome, but it's awesome, man. And I, I implore all of you to try an e-bike for once in your life before you talk smack. But I tell you, the e-bikes are probably considered some of the most uh, pansy, you know, sissy bikes out here. And I used to, I didn't think it was pansy or anything, but I just thought they were just kind of stupid before. But honestly, I don't feel that way no more, man. Um, I love, I love the e-bikes. I think they're cool. They have their place, but they can't, honestly, they can't replace uh, motor motorcycles, straight up gas motorcycles. I keep it real with you guys, you know what I'm saying? And um, there's a lot of soul I feel good baby it's something about the engine and the vibration and the feel that you get it's just I, it's indescribable it's just a, a, a beautiful feeling and you know with the electric bike they don't you know it, it doesn't have the vibration all but it, the torque is what kind of makes up with those bikes that's fun is the, the instant boop 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 you hit that that instant torque is just whoo it's beautiful another uh, sissy bike that people it's not a sissy bike but what people a lot of haters out there the biker elitist call like a pansy or sissy sissy bike is the uh is scooters you know scooters are uh, they people think that's for chicks especially here in the united states in europe they're very popular everybody got a scooter out there man i'll tell you the islands puerto rico they love them out there men men love them man men women everybody loves them but here in the United States, the macho United States, they're not accepted as being cool bikes for men. Woo -hoo -hoo! A lot of you guys out there to ride scooters and don't give a damn what people think. Thumbs up to you, thumbs up to you. You guys are the real men out there, you know what I'm saying? But I would tell you, I enjoy riding scooters too, man. That Chinese scooter, the only reason I, I went from the, the scooter to the CBR 250R is because that Chinese scooter broke down. Had I had a Honda scooter, which would have been reliable, <laughs> I, I, may be, I probably would be still riding the scooter. I wouldn't even have this motorcycle channel because I was involved in the scooter community and everything, man. I was repping it, throwing dubs up like, yeah, I scooter life, baby. And uh, I still love scooters. I think scooters are cool. I'm going to get me another scooter. How about that? 
and then I probably get some hate from you guys and I love it I eat up the hate I think it's cool man I, I, I <laughs> a lot of you guys are sensitive dudes out there you know what I'm saying that it really affects you like you feel like you have to fit in instead of fitting out I like to fit out I don't like to fit in I don't want to be like everybody else man I, in any ways, I do things because I enjoy doing them. It's something I want to try. And I, I you know, I, I used to talk smack about electric stuff, bikes and everything. And I said, you know what? I need to give electric motorcycles and e-bikes a chance. I got to try it before I knock it. And lo and behold, Cycle Cruiser tries it and he loves it. Just like Supermotos. I used to talk smack about Supermotos. I used to be like... When I had the dual sport, I was repping dual sport light, which honestly, this is still a dual sport because I got dual sport wheels and I ride off road. Um, but it's something about having the 17 inch wheels with more street oriented wheels that just really makes this thing so awesome, man. And, and it's more fun because with dual sports, with the, the, the knobbies, you can not you can only turn so, so much. You only can put so much lean angle on there. I think they'll slide out on you underneath you, which I learned the hard way. <laughs> and um, set you up for a real f up date. So I, I, I prefer the Supermoto, but I used to talk crap about Supermotos, you know what I'm saying, until I tried it. All the motorcycles, scooters, e-bikes, all of them have their place. And honestly, if I had a garage big enough, I'd, I'd have all the different types in my garage right now. E-bikes all the way up, quads, uh, everything. Uh, scooters, and hell, I'll throw in an ADV bike. For you ADV bike lovers out there, and maybe I'll do a tour across the country or something. I, I love it all. But we got to give love to these pansy bikes out here, like the scooters, the e-bikes. Let's not forget the mini bikes like the Honda Monkey, the Navi, the Honda Grom. Hell, I even get hate on my Yamaha MT-07, and that's one of my most fun bikes I've ever had next to my Supermoto. The 250s, a lot of you guys, you know, call the 250s pansy bikes. And, Honestly, the two out here on the street, honestly, you don't need no more than a 250 or 400. Like this, this is a 450 right here. The speed limits are what, 35, 45, 55 on the highway, you know, 75. Um, you can't do high speeds with them. And the, for those of you that do, you risk your license, uh, losing your license and ending up in jail with the booty warrior. <laughs> And see, I can rip that throttle. I know I ain't going too fast. But this thing's got so much torque. That's what makes it fun. And that's what makes a, you know, a lot of those sissy bikes fun. Is a lot of them, some of them have nice torque, bottom end torque on them. You know what I'm saying? You know, like that, like that Suron X. That thing's got, you hit that throttle, boy, you saw I looped the wheelie. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because I wasn't expecting all that torque. And um, some of y'all, some of the scooters got good torque, where you just rip it off the line, and and uh, to me, that's that's what it's all about is the torque out here on the streets. Leave a comment below, guys. Tell me how you feel about these biker elitists, and and what do you think about these sissy bikes like scooters and 250s and e-bikes and e-motorcycles and stuff? Um, if, if you hate them and you think they're such a pansy bike, why? Like, why are you hating on them? Seriously. Because it's probably a reflection of yourself of what's going on with you. You know what I'm saying? That you're trying to fit in. Like I said, don't try to fit in or make other people fit in. Really, we should all be trying to fit out. But anyways, guys, like I said, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel. Make sure to hit the bell symbol so that you get notified of all my latest videos uh, immediately. Ask me anything, whether it's related to this video or not. I just want to talk with you guys. Deuces. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.